Hello and welcome to my channel Aquarius. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. In this video today we're going to take a look and see what is surrounding you in love for the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind this is a general reading and if it resonates with your current situation please like this video, share this video with anyone who needs to hear the message and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. This video can be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Aquarian placements. And to the cross watchers tuning in and checking in on an Aquarius in your life, feel free to take the messages as they best resonate for you. You can flip the roles, reverse the roles, do whatever you need to. Otherwise, a personal booking is where it's at. And all the details on how to work with me will be in the show more section below. We're going to open up the reading Aquarius with three twin flame oracle cards. Then we're going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person. And then towards the end of the reading, we'll grab some advice for you as well. Hope you have all been well, Aquarius. Let's begin your reading. We're going to take a look at the current energy between you and your person. So the one that you are thinking of when you're clicking on this video. Spirit, angels and guides, please show us the current energies between Aquarius and Aquarius's person. Current energies between Aquarius and Aquarius's person. Okay, so we've got contribution coming through. Contribution, it says help and improve. Okay, I'm getting like a, a six of pentacles vibe coming in with this card. Okay. Let's just grab another card. Spirit, angels and guides. Please show us the current energy between Aquarius and Aquarius's person. Okay, so we've got the victim card coming in. And we'll grab another card, Aquarius. The current energies. And we've got the Inspire card coming in. It says Influence and Motivate. Okay, I'm kind of getting an understanding of the picture here. We've got someone who is... I feel with the victim card, we've got someone here who isn't taking accountability and responsibility okay within a situation and i feel like that's your person okay this is someone who refuses to take accountability and responsibility they're acting like the victim I feel with the contribution card, Aquarius, it's, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you've come in and you've been giving a lot to this relationship or you've been giving a lot of your time and energy into this connection. And you may have addressed this you know, you may have addressed this with your person because I feel you're looking for this person to input the same. Whatever you're putting into the relationship, you're looking for this from your person and I feel like you haven't been getting it. And I feel that you have or you will approach your person and you will address this with them or you have addressed it with them and they are not responding in the way that you appreciate, okay? Hmm. All right, let's, um, I just want to expand on this Inspire card because I am getting, I 
I'm getting like a hermit energy coming in from this card. Tell us more about the Inspire card. Page of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm, let me have a look at these cards for a second. It almost feels like um, in the current situation, Aquarius, that you are feeling inspired or motivated to maybe break away from this connection and go, new, go your own way for a short time. Okay, because by this woman's foot is a lantern and the reason why you're inspired to take a break or maybe to take some much needed time out from this connection is because in this instance you feel like you've done all that you can, okay. Mm. yeah and then you've got the page of pentacles here and I feel like you're going to see if your person steps up as a result of you maybe withdrawing or pulling back Okay, you, you want to see if this person is going to step up or if they're going to continue playing the victim in this instance. Can we please clarify the victim card? Tell us more about this victim energy. Yep. I don't feel like I'm wrong, but, you know, we can see here in the Eight of Swords, this woman, she's not doing anything. Okay, I do feel that this person carries a victim mentality. Okay, they don't have, this person doesn't have the ability to self-reflect or look within. It's your fault. It's somebody else's fault. Yeah, they, they're just not capable of it because the Eight of Swords is here, which is telling me that this victim mentality stems from their mindset. It stems from their belief system. They don't feel, this person doesn't feel like they've got the control to change this. And again, isn't that funny because we've got someone's hands tied up here and this woman's arms are tied up and bound. So I can see clearly here you're dealing with someone who isn't taking accountability and responsibility. You have addressed it with him and I feel like at this point you're feeling inspired to maybe break away from this connection and, you know, go your own path for a time to see if this person will step up. Okay, this is your way of uh, influencing or motivating or inspiring this person to maybe take accountability. Because even here, look at all these beautiful lanterns. Okay, you've, you've done everything you can do here. You've lit the way. You've done everything you can. Yeah. Yeah. Let's clarify this contribution card. I just want to break it down a little bit more. I feel like you've been the generous one in this connection. What have we got here? We've got the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you've been the generous one. And look at this. In the Six of Cups, there is uh, someone offering, you know, there's someone making an offer or extending a gift to this other child here. But in the reverse, okay, you're dealing with someone who keeps taking and taking from you in some way. Now, because this is Cups energy, they're taking from you emotionally. Okay, maybe they're not showing you 
that they really care, but they're happy to take your energy and not reciprocate it. Mm. And this energy um, has left you feeling depleted. I feel like it's left you feeling depleted. You know, there's only so much you can give. There's only so much you can be there for somebody. Yeah, the rest is on them, you know. They do have to at some point step up and take accountability and responsibility. And I don't feel like this person is. All right, so I actually feel inclined to kind of keep those cards there. Let's break it down, shall we? Let's, uh, let's take a look at your person's energy. Let's see what's going on with them. Spirit, tell us more about Aquarius's person's energy. Please show us this person's energy for the upcoming days and week. Please show us this person's energy that Aquarius is dealing with. Okay, so Mother of Cups is here. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with someone who is um, who's got mother wounds. Just putting it out there. We've got the Sun card here. This is Leo energy. Please show us the energy of this person that Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with, please, Spirit. And we've got the Father of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we got at the bottom of the deck? Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups interesting and then the fool oh death card and the fool ace of wands ace of cups okay so there's a real opportunity for this person to seriously pull their finger out of their butthole okay because <laughs> this kind of does look like a butthole Give us a like if you agree. <laughs> okay, so I feel like the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, um, you know, this person has a real opportunity to pull their finger out and do something about what you're addressing with them. And it seems like, Aquarius, that your idea of breaking away at this time okay your idea of breaking away at this time is a strategy that is going to work because i can see that as soon as you stop giving this person attention and stop helping them and always stop being there for them and they will they will step up I'm seeing that they will step up. And the reason why I say that is because the Father of Pentacles is here. Okay, and the Father of Pentacles is an energy of someone who, who does take accountability and who does, um, you know, who is, who is willing to take accountability and responsibility. So it seems like your idea of breaking away is is the best thing that you could do right now for this person that you're connecting to. Sorry, I'm just having a cup of tea, matcha tea. Because ultimately this person with the Mother of Cups does love you or they do have strong feelings for you here. They might not always show it in the way that you would like them to show it because the Father of Pentacles is here. And I, I find that the Father of Pentacles can be quite astute 
and yeah they they just they're not whereas the mother of cups is very you know she's very touchy feely um she's very very motherly she's very nurturing and she's more prone to showing affection as opposed to the father of pentacles so i do see that this person does care about you and they are willing at this point to step up and stop acting like the martyr in this case okay we've got the ace of wands here which is telling me that this person is feeling inspired to take action mm. and with paired up with the father of pentacles they're inspired to show you that they can contribute, that they can support you, um, that you can lean on them. Okay, maybe up to this point you haven't been able to, but I'm sensing here that they are willing to come to some kind of a compromise and, and meet you in the middle because they haven't been. I feel like with the sun card here in the center of their energy, I want to say that this person can at times be an a-hole, okay, making reference to the butthole. I don't know, some of you might need to hear that, but they can act like a complete a-hole and disregard your views, your thoughts, your feelings. I, I feel that. I, I get a very self-centered energy coming in with this person and I, I wouldn't be surprised if um, Kim Kranz actually I don't know had this in mind when she was putting this artwork together <laughs> be interesting to know mm. I do see a very self-absorbed and self-centered person but I do feel with the Ace of Cups here that they are coming in with some form of an apology. Okay, with some form of an apology. I remember earlier I said there's the Death card, Major Arcanifus Scorpio, but this is, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know at times I can be selfish and focus on me, but I'm willing to make the changes. Okay, the death card speaks to changes. So it would tell me here at this point, this person is willing to make the necessary adjustments and changes to, you know, save the relationship. Conquer this hurdle that you're facing. And we've got the fool here as well. Okay, which indicates a new beginning. Let's clarify some of these cards, shall we? Okay, so let's, um, let's have a look at this Ace of Cups. I wanna clarify this Ace of Cups. Yeah, look at that, Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person has been absent, okay? They haven't really been there in the way that you want them to show up in the relationship. But I feel like they're coming in apologizing for their absence or they're coming in apologizing for their lack of input or lack of action. However you want them to show up, they are apologizing for the lack of that. Mm. 
I mean, the Knight of Wands in reverse can be a lack of interest as well. You may feel like, oh, they're not interested in me anymore. Like I'm, I'm showing more interest. Uh, they're not showing more interest, but I feel like they're coming in apologizing for their lack of investment, for their lack of action, for their lack of interest. And again, the Knight of Wands would just indicate to me that you've got someone who is really just thinking of themselves or who has been thinking about themselves and who makes you feel at time unappreciated. You know? Let's clarify this Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands, Spirit? Tell us more about the Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, look at that. More fire energy. Queen of Wands in reverse. This Queen of Wands in reverse tells me that this person hasn't been as involved as you would like them to be in the relationship in some way okay they haven't been again i'm just getting double energy here that they haven't been showing up in the way that you want them to and i feel like they're inspired to you know be more motivated be more involved be more cheerful uh, be more faithful be more outgoing with you um just be more of the Queen of Wands energy that she is. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's clarify this Mother of Cups. Tell us more about the Mother of Cups. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's been um, a, a lack of consistency with how this person shows you that they care. Maybe at the start of your relationship or at the start of your connection, they would do all these beautiful little things for you. Like, I don't know, maybe they wrote love letters or they would you know whisk you away to a movie or see a play or something like that the things that they would do uh, to make you feel like they really put thought in it and it made you felt feel like they really cared and they really valued you and they really loved you but with the eight of pentacles in reverse it tells me here that they haven't been putting in the effort to show you um, that they do appreciate you, that they do love you and that they do care about you. There's been a lack of consistency around how they show these feelings to you. Does that make sense, Aquarius? Let's have a look at the Father of Pentacles. I mean, it could be with the Father of Pentacles that this person has been focusing more on their career. Yeah, look at that, Queen of Pentacles. It could very well be here that this person has had their head in, um, you know, the career books or the finance books or whatever. It's just this is the mater fo a strong focus on the material world. But look, this person does see, see you as their true match or their divine counterpart. Okay. This is someone who is stepping up. They want to step up. They can see here with the Queen of Pentacles that you've been very generous and you've been very giving and you've been very helpful and you've been contributing a lot towards this relationship, this connection. And they seem to be stepping up to here with the Father of Pentacles, okay? interesting so we've had a turnaround let's clarify this sun card let's clarify the sun card yeah 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What did I say? You know, um, this person has been Ten of Pentacles in reverse, very self-absorbed or just very absorbed with the material world, making money, um, you know, self-absorbed with their own goals. You know, if you have a family with this person with the Ten of Pentacles, they haven't been showing up for the family in the way that you would like them to. Yes, they're probably getting the bills paid, but it's it's not how you want them to be showing up here with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Hmm. There's definitely been a lack of stability here. within a partnership. All right, so I'm going to take these cards away. I'm going to pop the clarifiers back in and we're going to take a look at how you're feeling. Actually, you know, I'm going to keep the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands there because I might refer back to them. Let's take a look at your energy. Let's take a look at your energy. Spirit, please tell us more about Aquarius' energy. Please show us the energy of Aquarius in the upcoming days and week. Yeah, there's a magician. I love that this is coming in for you because the power lies in your hands here. I feel like you're steering this in the direction you need it to go. And I feel like you're doing that with the Inspire card by breaking away. Okay, by breaking away, leaving this person to their own devices and seeing if they're willing to you know, come to the party. So the magician in your energy is essentially saying, Aquarius, you know what you need to do, okay? You have the tools. Maybe you've dealt with this person before. Maybe they've you've experienced this with this person before or in a previous relationship. So it's telling me here, you've got the tools to deal with this situation in the way that it's going to benefit you the most. The hanged man, yeah, I love it. Because the hanged man is no action. You're not taking any action. You're gonna pull back from doing all the things that you used to do. Because see, the magician is looking to the hanged man. You're looking at the hangman saying, this is what I need to do. I need to pull back. I need to pull back. I need to stop caring as much. I need to stop, you know, doing all the little things that I used to do for this connection. Because mm. the hangman tells me here that you've seen things differently. You're seeing something through uh, fresh eyes this week or you've started to see the connection through a completely different lens. All right, what else is coming through Aquarius's energy? Yeah, I love this. Look at that. You've got the Empress. Beautiful. The Empress here tells me that you are in a position, Aquarius, where you know your value, you know your worth. Okay, you know how much you have to offer and give to the relationship. And this is you just not tolerating what you've been receiving and what you've been receiving here is breadcrumbs with the page of pentacles here you've been receiving breadcrumbs from this person and the empress is telling me here that you're just not going to stand for it anymore you're going to pull back you're going to watch and you're going to observe and you're going to wait you've got the son of cups at the bottom of the deck 
with the Ten of Swords. So you're telling me here that you've had enough. Okay. You've reached the end of the road with this. Um, something needs to change. Can we just clarify this Son of Cups energy? Um, Yeah, let's clarify the Son of Cups, Spirit. I'll just give these cards a bit of a shuffle. Tell us more about this Son of Cups energy. I feel like this is your feelings towards the, your person. This is how you feel towards them. But can you see it's not the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups that you're feeling. At this point, you do have feelings. You do care about this person. But... They're not as strong. It's like with the Son of Cups and the Empress, you're saying to me, sorry, um, just, you know, spirits hitting my soul. Um, you're saying to me, I do care about them, but at the end of the day, I love me more. So I've got to do what's best for me. You know? All right. Can we clarify this Son of Cups? Tell us more about the Son of Cups. Tell us more about the Son of Cups. The world is in, I saw the world in reverse, so I don't feel like you're opting out of the connection as yet. Yeah, look at this, the Five of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, you're certainly not happy with them, but you're... You're also willing to move on from this hurdle, okay? You don't want to... You don't want to be reflecting on this for too long, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, Aquarius, you've got a, I want to say you've got a positive mindset here. You're not going to let this drag you down. Okay, I'm just listening to spirit as spirit's talking to me. You're not going to let this drag you down. Um, let's clarify this magician in Aquarius's energy. Tell us more about the magician. What's this magician here in Aquarius's energy? Yeah, look at that, the hanged man. <laughs> so double confirmation coming in here, not to sound like a broken record, Aquarius, but, you know, the magician is looking towards the hangman again and you're feeling like that's your best approach, okay, to do nothing, okay, just stop everything that you've been doing up to this point stop it and watch and wait to see how your person responds and and reacts interesting can we clarify the hanged man wouldn't it be interesting if the magician came out to hang clarify the hanged man <laughs> yep there it is again, Seven of Pentacles, same, same, but different to the Hanged Man, right? This is you, you're not watering the connection the way you used to, okay? You're not watering the connection, you're not tending to the seeds. Hmm. Yeah, you've just, you've stopped. You stopped doing whatever it is that you've been doing thus far. You've pulled back. You've seen that it's best to pull back as well because Hangman is a, a fresh new uh, perspective. Okay, you're having a fresh new perspective on things. 
and you're seeing at this point it is best to stop everything that you've been doing because it's not helping your relationship it's not helping your situation can we have a look at this empress energy yeah look at that queen of cups in reverse you do feel unappreciated you do feel undervalued Mm. and this person that you're dealing with Aquarius is going to notice that you've pulled back okay they're going to notice you could be mirroring this person as well they, that's probably what's happening here too you're kind of mirroring their energy And they will notice it. As soon as you mirror it back to them, they will notice it, Aquarius. So let's grab some last parting messages or advice for you, shall we? I'm just going to use the Colette Baron Reed Animal Spirit cards. Thank you for watching this video to the very end, you guys. I really do appreciate your support here on the channel, even though I know I don't say it enough. Let me know in the comment section below which part best resonated for you. Let's see what spirit wants to close the reading out with. We've got peacock spirit here. Let it shine. Let it shine. I feel the message here is, again, I, I love the peacock spirit because... You know, this person isn't going to dim your light. I can see that you've addressed something with them, but you're not going to let this person dim your light. You might not be happy with them. You might not be happy with the way they're showing up in the connection. But again, look at this beautiful energy. This is so you. It's very similar here if you look at the colors here. And you look at the energy coming from both of these cards, very, very similar. You're not going to let this person dim your shine or dim your light. If anything, you're going to shine brighter. Which is going to make your person feel like they're missing out. Okay, especially if they don't pull their socks up. So there's your reading Aquarius. I do hope that was helpful. I look forward to your comments and until my next video, take care.